Take Sarah Fleming, for instance. When she saw someone in need, she knew exactly what to do. It doesn't matter if you don't have the money. I'll provide. Trust me. This is the story of helping people. This is the story of a person with a giant heart trying to do good in the world. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Sarah was minding her business, perusing the aisles at the local grocery store one holiday season. Sweet friends, this is a true story. I'm sharing for others to hear of God's goodness and mercy. It's not about me, great things he hath done. The man, a single dad, purchasing the groceries was buying the bare minimum to provide for his children. Unfortunately, he couldn't afford it. I watched as the man in front of me asked the cashier to put things to the side over and over again. He kept swiping his card, declined. We've already seen our own cards declined here and there, but usually there's a backup option. There was a girl and a boy with him, and I heard them call him dad several times. The girl was a preteen, and the boy was about my son's age. I could see the embarrassment written all over their faces. The timing couldn't be worse for this struggling father, and during the holidays. In fact, this particular event occurred right after Thanksgiving. Sarah wondered if a day meant for feasting was met with miniature famine. The cashier started to return the food to the counter. Then suddenly I felt it. It was like a gentle shove on the back and a mild electric shock to my heart. Pay for these groceries, it said. It doesn't matter if you don't have the money. I'll provide. Trust me. But just as she was about to step into action, she hesitated. What if she embarrassed this man's kids even more? That small voice still called again, another shove, stronger this time. I've got it, I blurted out loudly, as heat flooded my face. The man turned around, not believing his ears. His children brightened up instantly. The man was beyond appreciative of Sarah's kind gesture. I don't know how to thank you. I'm a single dad. It's so hard. Sarah prayed that God would cover her purchase. It's okay. I wanted to help. I know it's what God told me to do, and I've been there. Months later, Sarah saw something incredible. While sitting in church with her family, she spotted the same dad and his two adorable children sitting at the end of her pew. They weren't just in the same church. They were in the exact same aisle. I just obeyed God. Sarah began to sob in silence. She'd done a wonderful thing. Seeing the man and his family there in the church was otherworldly. I never told him I was a Christian. I never even told him where I went to church. The same one who brought this dad and his family to my church that Sunday. Sarah wants people to know that her experience shows that it's not about me. As Sarah would say, Glory to the Lord God Almighty. Great things he hath done. What do you think of Sarah's kind-hearted gesture? We need more love in the world, that's for sure. Please share this with your friends and family.